Coach, I feel like every every segment we have to have a, a mental health check in from you because I what I'm trying to wonder is why the hell in this lifetime would Logan Paul want to step in the ring with a man that is arguably the greatest boxer that we've ever seen, um, exhibition or no exhibition? Can you speak to can you speak to his mental uh, health? So as to why he would get in the ring with Floyd Money Mayweather. Well, <laughs> well, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna judge his men- his mental state. I don't know the man. Um, what I will say is that I think just the time that we're living in, right? Um, you and I, we're you know we I don't know if you're an '80s baby. I believe you're an '80s baby. I'm an '80s baby. So we came up in a time where things made sense, and it was like they have to make sense before they come out. And so now we live in a time where things, you know, trial and error is much more of a thing. And I think with just his fame and his YouTube stardom and him looking to continue building his name, um, I think it, it it's dangerous. It's like, you know, we live in a time of, yeah, it is because we live in a time of like great idolization. And so like, he's just building a rep off of like fighting and like, hey, this is who I am, see me, you know, I'm the cool white boy. And it's like, all right, cool, you know what I mean? Like. Nowadays, we live in a world where these things are normal, where people are like doing dumb shit for money. So I feel like, hey, if you want to test your luck against, you know, that person, then sure. And I, I mean, honestly, when I look at it, Mayweather ain't stupid. I'm sure they both get in a bag. Like, oh, we know Mayweather's in the bag. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. to me, it looked fake, but it's like, you know, it, it's about the money. Like, we live in a time where things, you know, the passion and things is different. I mean, back in the day, fighting any type of sport, any type of craft, there was a certain, you know, passion, it was a certain love, there was a certain uh, desire to just be the best, period. Um, but now it's like, nah, I don't care. Like, I just want to get this bag. <laughs> like, you know, people will be number two on camera to get that bag. You get what I mean? So I don't know. I just, I the way I deal with it is I navigate it like, look, like co- compassion in the conversation. This is what it is. This is what he wants to do. I'm sure money Mayweather got his money on that. I'm sure he did too. God bless the people who paid for it. <laughs> non figures uh, yeah. out of the deal. Floyd, you get what I'm Floyd's saying? Already, Floyd's already confirmed it's a $30 million bag. Um, and, and as you said, Coach D, because we are all 80s babies, but I'm not about to use my common sense to make sense of this nonsense. And you exactly, know what I'm Logan Paul, you know, I, I guess this is an opportunity to enhance your popularity or push your brand, whatever it is. Um, but for anybody who thinks that a man who just started training within the last two years is going to be the man who's been training for over 30 years and who is recognized as the most tactical boxer the sport has ever seen. Whether you want to call him the GOAT or not, that's up for debate. But in terms of scheme and tactics in the ring, there is nobody who's been better than Floyd Mayweather. Floyd know what he's doing. This is, this is easy money. Floyd has already cemented his legacy in the ring as a professional. And to him, like, listen, you're going to pay me $30 million to beat this dude up? Why wouldn't I take it? <laughs> right. That Why part. That part. It? Right. Absolutely. Now that I know part. you didn't, Coach D. I know you didn't want to speak to 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 Logan Paul's mental health state, but can you speak on the the mental health state of his brother Jake Paul? Because when he took Mayweather's hat off his head and said, "I got your hat," I thought he had a death wish. So could you talk to me about that? I mean, I like I like I said, it looks staged to me. Like that don't happen in real life. Like we've been playing time out since the back in the day. Like there's no way Mayweather been in the gym doing all this and the brother even got close enough to take his hat. You get what I'm saying? Without even him having a reflex. So to me, it's just like, nah, this, this it was staged. It looks staged. I just Well, they said that he really did get get a little bit of, of a beat down behind behind taking that that hat from from Mayweather. That was the word. They said that that actually did, you know, that did happen. So I'm just I'm just confused because I mean, look, you know, we, we jump- all come from similar areas and those are not things that that we do. Um, and I try to say, you know, obviously we're not all raised the same, you know, different cultures, you know, this, you know, white kids. I don't know how they how they how they play around. And, you know, things can be a little bit. Oh, different. they fight. Nah, they fight. <laughs> but we don't no, but I'm saying, but to, to, to snatch Floyd Mayweather's hat off his head in the manner in which he did it, and you don't know that man like that. Nah, like, they no they, white people play nah, like but that. But they know it. Yeah, yeah. They, no, no. But and white people play like that. And and to Coach D's point, it, a lot of this was already discussed behind the scenes. Because 
you know, Logan Paul, when he first started, I'm sorry, Jake Paul, when he first started, you know, going around saying, I'm going to be a boxer, there's footage of him and Floyd talking and, and having their own little conversation. Now, they may not be best friends. I'm not saying that. But they've encountered each other several times. So whether it was completely staged or whether it was like, hey, look, I'm going to do something to, to hype the fight and maybe didn't tell Floyd that's what he was going to do and still did it. There, you know, there, there was a little to it there because at the end of the day, Floyd is a businessman. And I'm sure Floyd may have jabbed him or punched him in the face. But Floyd ain't going to mess up his bag and go crazy on this dude and knock him out at the press conference. Because then it's like, now ain't going to be no fight. You know what I'm saying? If, well, if was, I hurt this kid, it's not, it, it, it don't it, it, matter, though. If it I, don't matter. If I hurt this guy too much, then I'll put the venue at jeopardy now because now yep. they're going to wonder, like, should we even have this? Is this yeah. too out of control? What's going on? So, listen, Floyd is a businessman. Floyd is one of the most calculated athletes of all time, right? Mm -hmm. Floyd knows what he's doing. And so... I'm sure Jake might have said, look, I'm going to do something outrageous. Maybe didn't tell Floyd what it was going to be. Be I'm going to do something outrageous to sell it. Because remember, even when Floyd was on stage speaking, he's untying Floyd's sneakers. He's trying to pick at him. Yeah, so a... I'm sure there was more to it. But ultimately, I mean, I ain't paying for it. I, you know, I got a site that I'm going to watch it off of. I'm not giving you yeah. my money. Well, well, but <laughs> but now, I'm sure there's a, lot, there's a lot of people tonight who don't know what else to with their money that's going to pay for it. So, no, nah, that's a fact. Antics aside. Now you got to step inside the ring. I don't think that Floyd Mayweather is going to play with that young man inside the ring. So do you think, does this fight end in a knockout? Does Floyd drag it out? What, what, what are your thoughts? I think they'll make it entertaining. Like, I really do. Like, at the end of the day, you know, like Eric said, it, it's about the bag. It's about where the money resides. And so if the money is making it, you know what I mean, an entertaining fight, I'm sure Floyd will. And I'm sure that Logan will like they do that. Like I, I worked in a prep school for many years and they they do stuff like that, like pick at you and do like go paper at you like in the hallway. Like it's just like, you know, we play different, like you said, different cultures. But when they come down to that bag, they're going to make it as entertaining as possible. Floyd, Floyd to carry it as, as long as he can, um, similar to like what he did with McGregor. So this mm -hmm. one's an eight round fight. Floyd, I think Floyd will carry it for three rounds and then just start putting a punishment on him. You know, Floyd is going to try to give you a little bit of your money's worth, but he ain't going to drag it too deep to even make you think that he had a chance to beat him. So Floyd may toy with him in the first round, may let him get a punch or two in the second round. Then by the third round, Floyd is just going to go crazy on him. You know, I mean, again, like I keep telling people, and I respect boxers so much because of the, the discipline it takes to be a boxer. Like, ain't no way you tell him you just started training and you could get in the ring with that man and do anything, especially when we've seen other lifelong boxers get in the ring and they could barely touch him. So if Canelo Alvarez could barely touch him, what make you think you could touch him? And we're not talking about his last fight being seven, eight years ago. Like the the, the Conor McGregor fight wasn't that far. You know, we're not Three too far removed from Three it. Years yeah. ago. So this, and, and we're talking about somebody that still trains. Yep. Right. He didn't, he didn't right. Conor McGregor run away with that bag and then go sit on the couch and, and, and eat bonbons and, and popcorn. No, he's still in the gym damn near every day with the same training regimen. So, you know, I, I hope I uh, may the Lord be with him in this fight um, tonight. <laughs> it is going down. I will be watching it. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. Fans.